Hello, in this video, uh, we are going to see how using cinemas, we can visualize magnetic configurations from uh, input or output file uh, of a calculation. And in this tutorial, we are going to consider the VAS code. So let's start about it by going to the menu import and by selecting the option from directory. And then we can just point to the location of the folder, which is containing a valid calculation uh, with uh, valid information about magnetic configurations. Now you can see that the calculation has been imported as a workflow in cinemas. Now uh, one additional information uh, is that just for the sake of this tutorial, I considered importing an already performed calculation uh, uh, in cinemas as a workflow using the import, uh, import menu. However, you can also create a workflow in cinemas from scratch where you can prepare the input files using cinemas. You can execute the, the calculations on the remote server uh, using cinemas. You can download and post process your output data as well using cinemas. And then uh, further, you can visualize the magnetic configurations uh, from your output file in cinemas view. And how to do that is what I'm going to explain in the next few minutes. So let's assume that uh, uh, once the workflow is created or has been loaded uh, by importing uh, an already performed calculation into cinemas and all we have to do is just to navigate uh, to cinemas view which is the visual structure visualizer of uh, cinemas and you see that the structure appears properly. Now, all we have to do is just go to the style options on the right side and then we have to expand the category mag view, uh, which is a short for magnetic configuration view. And all you have to do is just check this option show and immediately you see that cinemas displays the magnetic configuration. Now, you also see that there is a switch and it can be toggled between input and output. Now, what does it mean? So when the switch is toggled to input, Cinemas reads the information about magnetic configuration from the file in car because uh, we are considering the VASP code in this tutorial. And if the switch is toggled to output, Cinemas reads the information about magnetic configuration from the file out car. And uh, if you double click on any uh, arrow, uh, it shows you the value uh, either from the in car or from the out car depending upon uh, where uh, where your switch is toggled to and now you can keep uh, keep toggling uh, this switch between input and output to make an easy comparison and the magnetic configurations uh, can be compared uh, in terms of direction as well as the value uh, from the input and output file so you can see here that in this calculation um, the starting uh, initial uh, values were given to be two uh, for this particular site and after the calculation the computed value comes out to be 1.6 and also you can see that the starting magnetic configuration was a g-type anti-ferromagnetic configuration and after the calculation it converts to a ferromagnetic ground state you also see a lot of other options uh, uh, below uh, this input output switch and all these options are uh, self-explanatory uh, however, I'm going to brief about um, all these options. Uh, now, let's talk about this uh, atom. Here, you will see a list of all the atoms present in the structure. Uh, now, in this tutorial, my test structure is having only one atom, that is chromium. And in, the, in, in a case when your structure is having multiple atoms, and uh, then a list of all those atoms will be shown here and either any atom selected uh, individually or if you choose select all with respect to that choice you can apply uh, the settings for the appearance of these arrows now spin orientation is either up or down and of course uh, this holds uh, uh, good only for the case of uh, collinear magnetism uh, this would be a different uh, scenario for uh, non-collinear magnetism now this is nothing but just to change the length of uh, the arrows uh, i'm going to switch it back by this option you can change the uh, the radius of the arrow 
and here you can increase the length of the arrow tip and similarly if you want to change you can change the radius of the arrow tip now you can also change the color of these arrows now the uh, arrows are red and also if you like you can change the arrow selection color uh, let me make it to be green so if you double click earlier uh, the selection color was red now the selection color has been um, changed to green so these options are just for your convenience and uh, you can uh, play with them as per your liking okay so now let's talk about how cinemas handles any error uh, arising due to uh, any discrepancy uh, in the file uh, about uh, magnetic configuration related information so let's go to cascade and let's open the in input file workspace and let's go to the control tab now you can see that uh, this is the GUI mode and this is the uh, text mode. So uh, for the WASP code, the control tab uh, edits the in-car file. So here in the in-car file, ispin equals to 2 defines that my calculation is of magnetic type, while magmum defines the initial value of magnetic moment for each site uh, with which the calculation was started. So let me... Um, it removes this information about magnetic moments uh, uh, from the in-car file. Let's uh, save and close. Let's again switch back to um, cinema's view. Let's go to magnetic view category, uh, mag view category. Since we removed this uh, magmum tag from in-car, let's switch it to input because right now it's reading from the out-car file. Now the moment I switch it to input, you can see that no arrows are displayed as well as there is an exclamation uh, mark which is displayed next to the show option. So now Cinemas is prompting you that uh, there is some information which is missing from the in-car file. Similarly, if there is any discrepancy in the out-car file, uh, when you toggle to the output, it will show uh, uh, the exclamation mark and a prompt to an error. All right. Now let's see how Cinemas displays uh, magnetic configurations uh, for a non-collinear type of calculation. And for that, let's go back to Cascade. Uh, let's open the input file workspace again and let's go to the control tab. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove ispin equals to 2 tag and I'm going to input uh, a tag L non-collinear equals to dot true. Uh, now this tag uh, uh, sets up a non-collinear type of calculation for the WASP code. Now you can see that Cinemas has automatically categorized uh, this tag also. And then uh, let me define the magmum uh, tag. Now for the non-collinear uh, calculation, you have to provide three components uh, for each site to define your vector. Uh, let me provide some uh, random uh, values here. I have four sites uh, in my test structure in this tutorial. So I need to provide uh, 12 values in total. Let me just save and close. And let's again switch back to uh, Cinema's view. And then you can see that how nicely and quickly Cinemas displays the magnetic configuration for this non-collinear uh, uh, calculation. Let's go to MagView once again and uh, arrows look a little bit uh, bigger. Let's just reduce the uh, length. Okay, so now let's assume that the graphics which you see on the screen right now is something which is going to be used uh, to prepare uh, to prepare a figure maybe for a presentation maybe for a publication or uh, something similar now what can be done is with just with a single click you can export uh, these graphics to uh, another component of cinemas that is cinemas draw which is a drawing application basically and there you can prepare figures of publication uh, standards and export high quality graphics to several file formats so before we 
go to that option let's apply some anti-aliasing and then let's apply a better shading so that our uh, display looks smoother so that our structure display looks smoother and now let's go to the toolbar on the top side and this icon says load in drawer so let's just click and just with a single click the graphics uh, are exported to cinema's draw now here you can see there are a lot of options uh, there are several shapes available text option is available there are lines there are arrows there are 3d arrows uh, there are callouts and even latex snippet can be added to your figures now let's uh, try to crop a part of uh, this picture uh, let's uh, readjust the canvas size and let me add some text to it and I can see I can uh, and I can write non collinear magnetic configuration visualized in cinema's view and then I can go to style option if I like uh, I can increase the text size I can apply some shadow I can make the shadow a little bit smoother and I can make the text box corners a little bit round and then I can just reposition the text one more time and I can re readjust the canvas size. Now, once the figure is prepared, uh, the figures can be exported uh, to several file formats. You can see that Cinemas provide uh, Cinemas provides uh, JPG and PNG uh, two options for the raster file format and uh, three formats PDF, PS, and EPS for vector uh, file formats. And then if uh, for the raster type of images, if you try to save, uh, if you try to save the image, uh, it will ask you a scaling factor. So before you save your figure to a file, you can scale it and Cinemas provides you a scaling up to a factor of uh, 30 times. So in this tutorial, I have explained you how cinemas uh, can uh, visualize a magnetic configuration for a collinear or a non-collinear type of calculation. And also, uh, I explained you how the graphics uh, can be exported to uh, cinemas draw and publication quality figures can be prepared and exported to several file formats. So this is all uh, about this tutorial and I thank you very much for your attention.